Hi, and welcome to this Big Picture tutorial. Today we're going to have a closer look at how the app can automatically generate a task structure for you. In Big Picture, or Big Gantt, you can structure your work manually, automatically, or combine both ways to generate a more complex structure. To structure your tasks automatically, you can use the structure builders in the box configuration, which requires a box admin security role. To access the box configuration, click the cog icon in the top right corner of your screen and then go to the tasks tab and task structure. There are two things to keep in mind. The order of the structure builders, which reflects the levels of the hierarchy, or in other words, the first structure builder determines the highest level within the structure. And there's one more thing, which is that output structure will depend on the input structure. I will explain that shortly. As you can see in my hybrid project, there are different types of issues as well as tasks representing the project. So I used an issue type process to represent the project stages, which are further decomposed to sub stages and tasks. Also, I created a custom issue type features, which is decomposed into stories. I also have another project in the scope of this box with a single task. To create a parent-child relationship between the tasks, I use the custom link type, which I called parent to child relations. To create such a custom link, you will need Jira admin permissions, and you can do that in Jira administration or settings, issues and issue linking. Please note that links have an inward and outward description, which will be important whenever creating such links in Jira. Simply, you might get a bit confused if you use the same description for both the inward and outward direction. So now let's try to recreate this project's task structure. I will start with flattening the structure. This assures that the output structure will be the same, assuming I repeat the same steps. So let me deactivate the two structure builders and a toggle button appears here, which allows me to reset the structure. Let's do that and let's see how our Gantt chart looks like right now. So now we have a flat list of tasks and we can now activate the first structure builder. We will start with the project structure builder to nest all the issues under the project they belong to. Let's have a look at the Gantt chart right now. And as you can see, the tasks were nested correctly. So I have two projects and two tree structures with all the tasks nested under the corresponding project. Now let's activate the second structure builder, and that would be the parent to child relations, which is a link based structure builder. It will be the second in order. Please note that I've already used this link. And if you open one of the issues, you will see the dependency, which was created before I enabled the structure builders. Of course, when I create such a, a link between the two issues, uh, whenever the structure builder is active, it will automatically generate the hierarchy. While the app can generate a structure based on this link, when a task is indented manually, such a link will not be created. Or analogically, if we outdent a task, such a uh, link will not be removed. We plan to add this feature in the upcoming releases. So as you can see, I have recreated the project hierarchy. And now I would like to add another item, which would be the sprint. And I would like to uh, create a hierarchy where the sprints are the parent tasks. Okay. So all the items that are already assigned to a sprint will create a separate tree structure. So again, I will disable the structure builders, reset the structure and start this time from the sprint structure builder, and then all the remaining items, just as previously, will be nested under the corresponding project. And based on the link, we will recreate the, uh, the hierarchy. One more thing here, whenever we enable the Jira sprint structure builder versions, projects, also components, you will see that on the scope definition page, uh, under the automated automated rules, big picture will add the corresponding task type. So in our case, it would be the sprints and projects, which will appear in addition to your issues or in the Gantt view or uh, other modules. 
So let's have a look at the Gantt chart. And as you can see, whenever the tasks are not assigned to any sprint, they will be nested under the project, while all the remaining tasks that have the sprint field populated will be nested under the corresponding sprint. Okay, so what happens when whenever the structure builders are active? Let me give you an example. I will try to move one of these tasks from one project to the other. And since the structure builders are active, I will see a notification informing me that this action has failed due to the active structure builders. If I try to drag and drop this um, task on the top of the other, I can still do that because it does not violate the structure builder for both of these tasks. The hybrid project is a parent or grand grand parent, but the rule is still met. Now, what happens when I disable the structure builders? Let's give it a try. So whenever I disable the structure builders, uh, you might expect that the structure will be cleared, but that's not the case. So basically what happens is we are disabling the, uh, the, the algorithm and whatever was already created will remain as it was. So right now I can still see the same uh, hierarchy, but of course I can now drag and drop items however I want. So let's move this task under the, uh, let's say, deployment here. And as you can see, we are now uh, structuring it manually. So there is no constraints or rules that prevent this action. The last thing I wanted to show you is how we can combine the manual structuring with the automated one. So for that purpose, I will flatten the structure one more time and move the task from the other project I have in scope under one of the tasks in the main project. So let's move the task one here, let's say under the process operations. Okay, so we have the parent child relation. And now whenever I enable the linked based structure builder, I will not enable the project because I've actually indented the task manually, which means that the project structure builder will move the tasks uh, and nest it under the correct project. So as you can see, the tasks remains there and that is why the input structure determines the output structure. Okay, so I covered the main examples and now let's talk a little about the limitations. So there are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, the already mentioned conflicts between structure builders. So if you remember, we discussed how the projects and sprints will create a two separate trees instead of a single tree hierarchy. You will find more information in our documentation or on this slide that you are currently seeing. The next thing is that structure builders do not work with basic tasks. So if you want to use the basic task to, for example, simulate stages or phases, uh, you will have to do that manually. And the last thing to keep in mind is that we cannot duplicate tasks, which means that if this story has two parents, one of them would be the feature and the other one is the project initiation, for example, uh, it will be nested only under one of them. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out other video tutorials on our YouTube channel.